Next up are these old vintage um, magazines, comics. Some of these are like crazy interesting, like really old. Like we're talking like 80s, um, even maybe some of the 70s in here, but there's some pretty interesting stuff. What's going on, folks? Welcome back to the channel. Really do appreciate you being here. My name's Chris, and I'm building a business that suits my lifestyle. Now, if you are new here, over the last probably four to six weeks, I've really been documenting on a weekly basis of what I've been doing as a full-time reseller in my business to help it grow and help it get it to where I want it to be. I've got some crazy ambitions, and the only way to get to those ambitions is to do it one day at a time. And this week, coming off last week where I felt like I wasn't very productive because I had a few things that had to take, I guess, priority. This week, there's two focuses out of this video that I'm going to be talking about. Number one is getting back to the work. It was a somewhat quieter week, however, than it wasn't, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So I really just needed to get back into the trenches and do some, you know, hardcore work. Like I actually had to do extra photos, extra listings and prepping items to make sure that I can get them listed up on eBay to sell and really just continue to push further into the business to help it grow. Now, if you do stick around, you will see some of the results that we've been, um, that have started to come to life from me pushing into the business more and more over the last six weeks. The other thing is that I wanted to really focus on this week was, um, I'm going away for a week. I'm going to Rigtail first. I'm going to be in Gold Coast for a week, which is actually at the time of this video will be from tomorrow. Uh, and that means that I'm not going to be at the business. I'm not working in the business, but I am making sure, well, this week I made sure that my worker or my staff member that's going to be there usually doing the photos is just all good and happy and comfortable to get back into doing uh, some of the postage and all the other things that happen through the week, like uh, washing coming and going and et cetera, et cetera. So that was really my other focus for the week. There was a couple of deals and a couple of other things that I did this week. And I did a meet up with Christian Forest Finds Online. So it's been a very busy week. But at the end of the day, I'm building a business that suits my lifestyle, which means I have the flex and I have the ability to accommodate doing what I want to do. If I do want to go over and hang out with a mate, if I do want to go to another state and go to a, uh, a conference, I'm able to do that. And that is the whole purpose of me building the business the way I do. Now, this week was a test in that nature because, well, things didn't always go as planned um, and they don't always go as planned, but this week they didn't necessarily go as planned. Um, I didn't have my worker as much. I had a few other things pop up, which pulled me away. However, I managed to do what I could do <laughs> with the time that I had. Um, and now if you do stick around um, at the end, I'll take you through some of the lessons and some of the takeaways from this week. And the other thing is we'll dive into the numbers and I, 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 I'm going to have to say, I, I can't hold it in any longer. This week has been my best week again, and by far it has blown the other weeks out by a mile. So really excited to be able to share that. We'll get into those numbers at the very end. Uh, let's, let's get into it. Folks, welcome to Monday. And I tell you, it's, uh, I'm in a good mood. The reason why is because it was my best week ever again, which is always encouraging. Uh, so I think we bet my best week by about $150 around there somewhere. I think we ended up on 5,700 and something. Anyway, um, so that was a nice little win. First week of April, hitting that number is just mind blowing. Uh, now to keep it coming, <laughs> it's always the challenge. So this week is gonna be pretty hectic. Actually, it's, um, it's another busy week and there's a few interesting, uh, not complications, but just challenges, right? Uh, so today, um, I'm in the shop by myself, don't have the photographer. And because we've had a lot of public holidays, I've actually exhausted all my draft bank with my list up. So today, my focus is obviously pick, pack, and post. I've got 50 orders to go out, and I've already done the picking, actually. We did that. I, I dropped in yesterday and did the picking. But uh, we're going to do that, and then the priority is just to get photos done. Um, I'll be doing non-clothing today. Maybe I'll do one or two items, but probably just do non-clothing. Um, I've also got a washing pickup today. That's coming around 10.30. I do have a, a customer swinging by to pick up some stuff. And that's just today. So today's gonna be busy. Tomorrow, just to give you a bit of an insight on what's happening for the week, tomorrow I'm catching up with Forest Finds Online, Christian. Uh, we're gonna go do a bit of a thrift. We're gonna do a catch up. He's got some stuff from, for me and I've got some stuff for him. He won a recent Pokemon giveaway on my channel. And uh, then I'll be back at the unit just doing photos, pick, pack and posting and photos. Wednesday, um, I'll be in, in half, half day, but I've also got an opportunity to pick up someone's collection. A bit more details on that a little later. 
and then Thursday should be business as usual and then Friday I'm actually spending the day with Carla and I've also got a meeting at Backpack for Big Kids. So look, it's a crazy week. My photographer is only in, I think, one day this week. So that puts a little bit of pressure on the works, but hey, this is the reality of it, right? Uh, so nothing to be concerned by. I just got to do a little bit more extra work this week. So <laughs> that's the nature of the beast. Um, so let's uh, let's get into the unit and I'll take you through all, all the day. All right, we're all good. We are all good. I've got a couple more things out. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is actually get the washing ready. Um, so that way, well, yeah, I don't have to worry about it in the next hour or so. So I'm just gonna pick out the bags that I'm doing. Probably, probably gonna be 10 bags. I'm gonna do all the jeans and then a whole bunch of shirts. So I'm gonna get that ready in a second. all done they're all ready for pickup jeepers that was um that was good timing because i literally finished and then i got the message that they were one minute away so that's all done um <laughs> which is jeepers talk about timing they were meant to be here an hour later but um i think change i'm not complaining it's good to get it out of the way um so that's that uh we're going to get into the actual postage now just shuffling a few things around i've got to get some bubble wrap out and get all that ready and then I'll take you through what we've got going out and I've got to pick a couple more orders that sold from yesterday when I was here to this morning um, we've got like 50 going out it's crazy all right give me a second okie dokie all right so we have a total of probably can't really see that too well but 50 orders going out that's five zero it's really hard to see that isn't it sorry um, and we are back up on 49969. Now, if you don't remember, a couple of weeks ago, we had the eBay update where it basically removed all refunds, returns, um, and cancelled orders, and I dropped 6K. Well, I'm now back up to basically 50K. I got to 50K um, yesterday, and it's just dropped down this morning. So hopefully, we'll get back to 50K today, and then we can work our way back up to staying above 50,000. So 50 orders. Um, surprisingly, it's all close. Like in terms of when I say all, it's like 90% clothing. Um, we did have a couple of, um, I think this is some Sega games. We've got some Warhammer stuff going out. We've got a uh, Game Boy game. We did get the first Pokemon fund sale, which I'll talk about that a little later. We've got some Lego going out. Over here, we've got some South Park. We do have another um, empty box going out for $71. Uh, just a little camera here and another pair of jeans. So I'm going to start to pack this. I will show you a few things as I go through, but... What a beautiful weekend. Taya, it's um it's mind blowing to see what we're capable of achieving when we put in the work. Alright, let's get packing. And literally, like four minutes later, I just sold this little bad boy and we have hit fifty thousand dollars again. So uh woo woo! Alright, I think the first big ticket item, it's, it's, not, it's not a huge big ticket, but I mean, it's pretty good for a t-shirt. 70 bucks for this Red Dead Redemption t-shirt. I'm going to put it up on screen for you, but just crazy. This is out of one of the uh, video game t-shirt lots that I got. They all don't go at this price, but this one, it did. And the person paid full price, so very grateful for that person. Um, yeah, appreciate you. Here's another cool item, um, Bartman silk dressing gown men's. <laughs> I picked this one up from, I think it was from the Retro Rescuers lot that I got. I feel like Forrest finds online because I know he's always selling this kind of stuff. Uh, this one's gone for $75.90, so pretty cool. Um, never sold anything like that before, so it was a nice little win. All right, here's an interesting one, this big Yamaha racing um, jacket. This one has actually gone to Israel, and it's probably my only international sale this weekend but 147 bucks all right um i finished packing all that stuff i'll show you that in a minute but um i just wanted to give a big shout out um to an individual i'm not going to say names because i don't know if they want to be 
be called out, but someone who has been watching the Pokemon Fund did purchase the first Pokemon Fund um, card, item, this little guy going out. Um, and as a thank you, I'm going to chuck in a little extra just as, you know, help, help support the cause. So chuck in a little promo Snorlax card, nothing too crazy, but hey, it's a big thank you. Um, yeah. It just makes me uh, smile to know that, hey, the Pokemon Fund is actually moving now. All right, packing is all done. We've gone from here to here to all of this. This is uh, shockers, shockers. We've got stuff everywhere. Um, there's all the. This is uh, this is very interesting because, like, I mean, this is this is over a few days. Fifty orders actually. It worked out to be about fifty-six, but the reality is, is I know people that are doing this daily. Kudos to you. All right, it is all done, yay! Jeez, that took a little bit. So, one thing that I think is going to be on my, I'm just gonna plonk you here, just because it's easy to chat. I think one of the things that are gonna be on my short-term goals is actually, um, well, there's a couple of things, right? So, I have the goal to get into a warehouse, which is probably still three to six months away at least. But then I think with that, there's probably gonna be the opportunity to bring in a third, a third staff member because like Monday just doing this by myself this packing it's the busiest day and processes are efficient but there's just so much time wait it's not wasted it's just time gone which I could be doing other things um, so I think having someone come in do Monday packing even if it's for a couple of hours and just pay them you know it's a hundred bucks uh, <laughs> it will I can probably make more money myself in that same amount of time than me doing this so something really to consider and that's something that i think everyone should really consider is like how much is your time worth and how much can you do with your time if someone else was giving you the time back so yeah um i'm gonna have some lunch i'm i'm exhausted i'm gonna have an avocado and cheese roll and then we're gonna get into doing some uh anyway and then i've got a whole bunch of phones on charge and things like that too so all right i'm gonna have some food all right, it's been a busy day. I just had my um, customer leave. He did purchase a few goodies, which I'm very grateful for. Um, so I'm just gonna send the invoice for that, get that all wrapped up, and then we'll start doing some photos. But I uh, got a nice little bunch of sales there for 305 bucks. So yeah, it's good having connections. Uh, well, building relationships, that's what it's really about. Um, so we, sorry, I just ran up the stairs if that's why I'm puffing, because I need to get some work done. So. I'm going to send this and then we'll get started on the listings. All right, folks, I am done. I've done, um, I think 25, 26 listings. Um, obviously did not get what I wanted to get done today because I just had so many other things going on, but that's okay. We managed to get the, um, did I just drop the butcher on that? Yes, I did. Um, we managed to get what we wanted to get done in terms of bare minimum, which is good enough for me. It is uh, now quarter past four, so I need to pack up because I need to make sure I've got my postie. I, I need to make sure I'm around so my postie can pick up the stuff. Um, but we'll be back here tomorrow after hanging out with Christian for a bit, and I'll be back at it again. So not too bad, I've got to get this all packed up and get out of here. Ciao. Folks, I actually can't remember if I mentioned it before I left, but um. So I'm actually going to my local post office, usually he picks it up from me, uh, but I'm actually going there because I need to make a big order of, um, you know, all my satchels, all my padded mailers, all my, actually I don't need much more boxes, but I do it in bulk. And what I basically do is I have a look over what is my average selling, like quantity over the last quarter, and then I then look ahead and then look at, you know, compare it to some of the other data that I've got to then make a decision on how much I should be buying. The other thing I always take into account is the more you buy, the more discounts you get in terms of, um, you know, if you buy five lots of 10 or five lots of 20 or 15 lots of 20, you get a bigger discount per item. And the other thing is you scan this on your account, your My um, Post Business account, and you actually get that adding to your discount total as well. So I like to purchase usually on a quarterly basis. There's gonna get to a point where I'm probably just gonna get to buying six monthly um, and then, yeah, probably even more than that in the long run. But 
like when I say I'm buying a lot of stuff, and this is what I think a lot of people don't realize to operate, I mean, there will be a lot of people that watch this that do realize this, sorry, but there's a lot of other people that don't understand that this is just the cost of doing business. So I'm probably gonna spend $1,700, $2,000 or so on uh, just postage supplies. That's not like, you know, prepaid or tracking IDs or anything like that. That's purely just packaging. Um, Jeepers, it, look, it, the timing of it is bad because trying to save costs but the reality is those costs need to occur anyway it's just a timing factor um, and it's a new quarter so we may as just do it make it happen <sighs> it hurts but uh, anyway that's what I just wanted to share I'm gonna go do that and then we're gonna jump over to Tuesday folks it's Tuesday and it's a beautiful morning it is it's um what's the time it's 9.30 and I'm just heading over to uh, Sabres to catch up with Forest Finds Online. We're going to do a little bit of a thrift. I'm not going there to like, you know, source a big trip or anything. It's really, we're just catching up, hanging out. Um, I've got some stuff for him, he's got some stuff for me. Hey, but if we find some good stuff, why not? Because I have, but, but at the end of the day, if we don't find anything too crazy, it's not the end of the world because I have plenty of stock. Uh, so we're gonna do that. We'll probably also go to a Vinnie's and then I'm probably I'm actually keen to have a, a Bam Mi as well from the uh, little Vietnamese place just next to Vinnie's there. So Get into those goodies and then um, then it's just back to the shop and just doing business uh, business as usual. So This morning has been incredible like Insanity It's a good thing and I'm talking about sales like we've done it's 9.30 and I'm sitting on about $700, $730. Not from one sale, not from two sales, but from about six sales already. Um, really high ASP. I listed a whole bunch of cameras this morning and they've just moved really, really quick. So, got to love when you get some good products like that. Uh, so, that's been a quick morning win, which obviously <laughs> boosts the day for a bit of motivation. Um, but uh, that's it. I'll bring you along for the ride today, guys. I'll take you through all the details as we, as they occur, and um, wish us luck. I'll see you in a jiffy. Oh, oh, oh! I've also got some chippies for those that have been playing along at home, wanting me to get some more chippies, bring them into the videos. Well, today we will be getting into some chippies, but that's later. And there he is, late, <laughs> late as can be. Now there'll be nothing left in savers. Everyone's taking it off. <laughs> how you doing, man? Good. How are you? Yeah, really good. good really. You. Yeah, likewise. Hey, <laughs> Always a pleasure. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's go. All right, folks. We're done with the um, with the thrifting. Catch up with Christian. We had some lunch. Um, you'll see all that video. Uh, probably in a couple of days after this video actually uh, but now I'm gonna head back to the storage unit and really just do some work I'm gonna obviously film for the thrift video take you through all the goodies that I got and all that jazz but that will be in the other video but today really just got to pick pack and post I've got about 22 24 orders to go out it's been a busy night busy day actually and then yeah I'll do a couple of photos of some things my photographer is in actually for a little bit today so that will get me a little bit of a top-up and uh, yeah, so I'll take you through all the details of what's next when we get to the shop. All right, we've done with the video for the um, thrift video that comes out next week as well. I mean, sorry, a couple of days. Uh, but now we're going to do a pick, pack, and post. And then I'm going to, I need to also print out some more of the, um, I guess, that little processing card that we've been using for the shorts. We need some more of those, but I'll quickly just show you how we're going today. We've actually jumped up to 51,351, which is a nice big win. We've had some crazy sales over this um, last 24 hours, actually. And then we've got a total of 24 going out uh, today. So that's just crazy. It's actually really good. I'll take you through those in a minute. Once I've got them out, I'll show you a couple of different items as well. So um, let me do a couple of little admins and then we'll we'll get into that. Okie dokie. So we've actually got a lot of phones and cameras going out. A few multi-quantity orders here as well. Um, we do have some Lego. We've got this Warhammer piece going out as well. This one's gone for 279 I believe it was, or 270 uh, That was from one of the recent pickups. Got a little South Park dude going out. A little Kirby. Um, this is another 
bunch of phones, another camera. Um, there's some iPhones there as well. And then the rest is really just clothing. Lots of clothing going out as well. All winter stuff mainly. A lot of fleece um, and a couple of pair of jeans as well. So it's been really, really rewarding over the last 24 hours. It's been busy. Um, all good things. And we also got a sale on the Pokemon Fund store as well. Um, this little guy, the EB Games promo, that if you purchase something from EB Games, you'd get it. And this guy has gone for about $55 over to the USA. So I'll be packing that one as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that's order number two for the Pokemon Fund. <sighs> All right, let's do some work. All right, postage is done. Jeepers, chock a blocks. Um, I'm going to do a few listings now, some photos, before we finish up for the day, and then get out of here. Okie dokie, I've just done a whole bunch of phones and cameras. I'm just going to do a quick little sort of some things. It's already 4.20. I'm just going to spend the next, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes and just get a couple of little sorts done in preparation for tomorrow. I've taken all these tubs um, as well for the big haul that I'm doing tomorrow, which I'll tell you about a little bit later. I'm going to quickly sort these so that I've got these ready for tomorrow. Um, yeah. All right, all done. I've just put them all into their different models just so that when I'm building out different lots, I just try to do it in the models and then I'll test them and all that jazz. Some of these are completely destroyed some of these will be able to be repaired and some of these will have to go to um obviously for e-waste and things like that so there's a few different triages that need to happen but uh there's some good opportunity there's also some ipods too all right i'm getting out of here i'm going to pack up get out and uh it's 4 30 i need to be back by five and uh yeah let's pack up and get out i'll see you tomorrow It is Wednesday. I've just finished up a backpack for Vic Kids. Um, and now we've got an interesting, interesting opportunity. So I have the opportunity to pick up someone's DVD collection. And there's meant to be between a thousand and two thousand items. Now this has actually come through a connection through Backpack for Vic Kids. Someone's um, downsizing their, their house. Um, an older, elderly couple. And they're just looking for someone to come get rid of it, take it all. I have no idea if this is good, bad, anything in between. Really doing it as a bit of a, a favor because obviously helping out um, the network of Backpack for Vic Kids. But hopefully there will be some, um, you know, some good wins in this one for me as well. So I have no idea what I'm going into. Um, but I said I'm willing to help regardless, even if it's good stuff, bad stuff. And uh, see what I can do for this uh, lovely couple. So I'm heading there now. I'm going to go do that. And then I'll be going back to the storage unit. Got to do a pick, pack, and post. Got about nine items. Yesterday we did like sixteen hundred dollars. Today it's been dead, dead quiet. I don't even think I'm on a hundred bucks. So it's it's all over the place at the moment. But uh, that's the reality of it. So I'm going to head on over here now, and we'll see how we go. I probably won't film just because um, you know I don't really want to be filming in someone's private home. Uh, so let's see what it uh, works out to be. If it's a good opportunity, bad opportunity, regardless. It's nice to be able to help some people anyway. So, I will see you all in a jiffy. All right, folks, all done and dusted. Um, it actually wasn't as big as I expected. I was expecting quite a lot. It's all packed up, already in box, so I actually haven't seen any of it. So I could be walking into a, a minefield or I could be walking into some bolos. Um, I'm pretty sure it's nothing special. There's probably a few um, good ones in there. He was a John Wayne collector, but he's kept all his John Wayne. However, he has also said that since they're moving into a retirement village, uh, once they get settled in, they're probably going to have to figure out what space they have. They're going to give me another call in case there's some more stuff. Um, they also are some avid um, football fans, so they've got some stuff like memorabilia, some posters and things like that that they will potentially, not posters, frames and pictures, that they'll potentially wanting to move and get rid of as well. Um, and they said they'll give me a buzz um, if, if needed. So um, I said, yeah, no worries, no stress either. He also said he had um, a whole bunch of VHS players, um, which um, he couldn't find. I, I, yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm not too fussed. I didn't get any of that now. And I said, just give me a buzz. No harm done either way. Um, just really just trying to be genuine and, and help. They know what I do as well. Um, so they said more than happy to help me as well. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go back to the unit now. And I probably actually won't get into the DVDs today just because I need to do some actual work, but I might have a sticky bag here and there, and if I do, well, I'll try and show you as well. 
um, but really can't spend the time on it just yet. Um, so I'm probably actually gonna end up taking them home and then I'll have a sticky beak at home just because we've got a lot of stuff at the storage unit at the moment and it really wasn't that many boxes. Maybe, maybe 10 boxes. All right, so let's just have a look at something random. I haven't seen anything in here. We've got railway journeys. We have, okay, that could possibly be good. Let's go with this. Looks like there's a lot of crap in here, but there's also potentially some some good in here, so. Westerns. Okay. I think there's some fakes in here as well. Oh yeah, some more six shooter classics. Hmm. Pretty sure that's a fake, yep. So look, it's going to be a bit of a hit and miss. Hit or miss, sorry. All right, folks, let's check in and see how we're going. Actually, we're on 52,100, and we've got 15 orders going out today, which is pretty cool. Um, there is some that I want to show you because I've had a few questions about some of the phones and stuff that I've been doing. Um, we've got a little pop going out, Fast and Furious, um, 1970 Charger. We have this Raymond... <laughs> Fierce um, book set going out. That's gone for like $94 because it is in near mint condition. Um, it's from the 90s. We've got a little Amiibo. We've got some uh, cars going out. Uh, we've got a few phones in here. Actually, where's the one that I want to show you? Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, it is this one. So this one is going for. Let me just double check how much it's gone for. This is one of the old Nokias and it was a unique phone. So this one has gone for $60.90 and there's nothing special to it, it's got no battery pack, nothing like that, but it's just a unique phone, um, so something to be on the lookout for. Parts not working. Nice. Alright, let's pack it all up. Oh, and there's also a whole bunch of clothes in here as well. Postage is all done, I forgot that we have our washing getting dropped off tomorrow and I need to exchange over, so actually just getting a few things ready to go out now. So they're ready for the pickup tomorrow morning and it's going to be a whole bunch of North Face jackets. Alright folks, now just sitting down and doing some listings. I've got some game guides here, got some phones, some phones, and I've got a couple more on charge over there as well. Uh, so going to get on those and what's the other thing? I also got all these magic cards. Um, they were in the bottom of a box. I have no idea about them, I don't know if they're real or anything, so I don't think I'll get to those today, but just cool to find, and I also got a whole bunch of Pokemon stuff as well, but same thing, probably won't get to it today. Right team, that is it, I am done for the day, did do some phones, I just was killing a bit of time just sorting through some Pokemon cards and stuff, this is from a, a box of goodies that we had, um, nothing crazy in there, actually I don't think there's anything good in there to be honest. Um, I'll be back here tomorrow, got the washing pick up, we've got 10 bags going out. Uh, which, yeah, more North Face, more shirts, and then I'll get a whole bunch of that stock back tomorrow and start listing that as well. So, good day, I'll see you tomorrow, folks. It is Thursday, and it's another big day. I'm um, gonna get straight into it. So, I've got 10 bags of washing returning, just probably actually want to arrive at the shop. It's nine o'clock at the moment, I'm heading there now, and then uh, I've got to give another 10 to them. So they'll take that 10 and I'll come back on Monday. That's the first thing. I will also be spending a bit of time to do some quality checking of the washing because this is probably the biggest washing we've done since I had that incident a few, oh, it must have been about five weeks ago. Look, I'm sure it's all gonna be fine, but I'm definitely nervous about it. Uh, so we're gonna do that. It's just me today. I will be doing a pick, pack and post and then focusing on just getting more photos done of different stocks. So I've got lots of phones to do. I've actually got a fair bit of magazines to do. Um, I did have some Pokemon cards there, but I'm probably not going to focus on those today because I don't think they're worth the time today for, for what I want to get done. I really just want to get quick wins done and just get a nice volume. I'll aim for probably 30 to 50 if I don't have too much things to have to uh, post, which I think at the moment I've got about 12. So it's not too bad. Um, Sales have been up, sales have been amazing. My average day this week has been $1,000, uh, which is just like, 
it blows my mind. Um, we'll see if that continues though. We'll see if that continues. So, look, interesting day. And then what else do I have to do? Uh, I think that's it. And then tonight, I'm actually heading into the city, going to um, have a date night with Carla. We'll go, I think we're going to a comedy festival event, which I've never done anything like that before. So that should be pretty cool. Um, and then tomorrow, uh, we're actually just going to stay in the city just easier. And then tomorrow, probably won't be doing anything at the shop. I'll have my worker there tomorrow. They'll be doing everything. And uh, yeah, I've actually got a meeting with Backpack for Big Kids tomorrow about the fundraiser for this year. So it's never a, uh, never a dull day, never a dull week. And then next week, we're at Retail Fest. So it's going to be busy. It is going to be busy. But uh, I'll take you through today, show you what we do, what we get up to. And if you've got any questions along the way, by all means, chuck them in the comments below. Let's do it. All right, um, washing is all ready to go out. It clears up so much more space in here. I might actually bring the DVDs in here um, just to get them out of the van, but I'll do that a little bit later, I think. Now I'm just waiting for the message that she's here and then we'll do the switch over. For now, I'm just gonna start to get ready for the day. And then we'll be flat laying them all out here as well. Gonna move this out the way. Yeah. All right. I uh, just did a pick pack. Um, sorry, just did a pick, not a pack. I'm about to do the pack. Uh, we're at fifty-two thousand seven hundred and five, which is pretty good. And we've got eleven items to go out. A um, couple of Matchbox cars in a bundle. We've got a camera lens as well in here, and the rest is just clothing. I'm also waiting on. Uh, four items to come through to be paid for and that's a few more electronics and stuff so I'm not actually gonna post yet I'm gonna wait a little bit and I'll probably do it over lunchtime um, or I might start packing and then I'll just process it oh I also got this guy going out Hellfire Surf Club he's actually gone for a little bit I was actually quite surprised it did sit for a while I got that from Savers that one's gone for about $52 so I'll take that um, yeah, I'm gonna start to put some things on charge, get them ready for my listing, and I'm still waiting for the washing to arrive. Alright, taking all the washing down. And now we're going up with all the stuff that's returned. There's some really nice stuff in here. Really nice stuff. <laughs> oh, jeepers, that's dark. I'm gonna move this. All right, so my, my goal now is to basically take all these shirts out. I'm gonna leave the jeans in the bags. I don't need to come out. I'm gonna flat lay all the shirts. I've gotta do a quick little spot check, make sure everything's all good. I'm gonna do that now. I'll show you a little bit. I might not actually record it because I've realized I've only got about an hour left of footage left. So what I might do is I'll start and I'll show you some along the way. Um, and then, uh, yeah, anyway, you get the idea. Uh, so yeah, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put it all all right we're about not even halfway through but I figured I'll just show you the quality of these are so much better so the feedback has been great in terms of taking it on board there's some really nice stuff in here as well um, still got heaps more bags this bag one two three I think three more of the shirt so I'm going to continue these on um, just a quick little update things are going really well these are beautiful like some really nice stuff in here real big jackets and shirts Kind of like over shirts or over, they're like shirts that you could kind of use as jackets or over shirts, so hence over shirts. All right, all done, all done. Just absolutely exceptional quality. And there's some really cool stuff in here, like this is a Colombian um, hunting jacket. There's some really cool stuff. Some denim. I'm very happy with this, very, very pleased. This is great. Now the denim, um, the, the jeans, we'll leave them in the bags for now and I'll worry about them next week when we get to them so just had uh, another sale come through this one actually is what I picked up in my thrift last week when I was in Port Melbourne this one has actually gone for surprisingly I'll put it up on screen it, it's probably gone for about 30 bucks the, some per persons purchased two items together so it evens it out but I had it for uh, 30 and I think they made an offer of 20 so that's gone for about 30 bucks anyway with postage and then this one just came through and this one has actually gone for uh, we're looking at about a hundred dollars, ninety-eight dollars or so. Um, nice one here as well. I just sold a couple of cameras too, so ah, the day is young, and that means we just hit a new milestone of fifty-three thousand. Yes. Just been packing some cards for the um, 
from the giveaway from last night, but also for the Pokemon fund. And this one is going to old mate thrift, uh, old mate thrifter, and he's paid up for it, twenty five bucks. I appreciate you, sir. And I'll be dropping this one off to him at retail first. So by the time of this video is out, he'll be getting this tomorrow. So uh, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Twenty five bucks to the Pokemon fund. Woohoo! Okie dokie. Um, post is all done. I'm going to put another batch of phones on charge, get them for some listing prep, <coughs> and then get into doing some of the actual work. Just testing this bad boy and it's working a charm. Ballarat in Victoria. Madeline Burke reports. A range of specialist units well, that's groovy. Yep, this thing's massive. Absolutely Victoria. massive. Described as a significant... Next up are these old vintage um, magazines, comics. Some of these are like crazy interesting, like really old. Like we're talking like 80s, um, even maybe some of the 70s in here, but there's some pretty interesting stuff. Um, looks like they were from New Zealand. Got to do a little bit of research on these of what to, yeah, that's from 1981, of if I should just bundle them or sell them individual. So I'm just doing that right now, and then I'm gonna get these photoed up and, and whatnot. These are insane. Like, Jeepers. I mean, some of them in good condition, some are pretty bad. Um, but just, this stuff is next level. Anyway, so we're gonna go through those now. All right, I can't remember what I was talking about last. Um, I finished all my listings that I wanted to get done uh, and I've packed up all the mail. I've just bought up all the DVDs from the, from the van because I just wanted to get them out because I'm going away. Um, so I'm gonna bring them in here. Uh, I was having a quick little sticky beak again and man there was some crap ones in there like it looks like there's a lot of burnt ones but at the same time there was a couple of other ones which might do okay so it's going to be one of those quick little swift throughs but look it's got it for free helping out people that I know um it's it's going to be pretty pretty crap um nothing crazy in here but then you can see there's a lot of dodgy ones which is unfortunate it is what it is. I'm going to put these in here and then I am making my way into the city. And just like that, we were all done. All right, see you, folks. Folks, it is... What day is it? Actually, let me come back. Something just fell over in the back. All right, we're back. It's, uh, it's Saturday. I don't usually film my Saturdays because I don't usually do much uh, work on the Saturday, but right now I'm just heading to the post office to actually pick up that big um, order of supplies that I got uh, that I do on a quarterly basis so picking those up I'm gonna have a cheeky little uh, pop into my local op shop as well see if we can find a goodie or two and uh, yeah so basically in lead up to retail fest because I'm there from Monday onwards basically just doing a whole bunch of content stuff today in advance of next week so I get it out of the way and then the other thing that I have to do which it will be tomorrow is I'm gonna go in Sunday afternoon and just pick pack and get everything ready for Monday morning because it will be a busy weekend. Actually, you won't believe this. So it's uh, It's been my best. What is going on over here? That's really random. I just, some person's broken down and my dad was there helping them. So anyway, totally random. Um, <laughs> Sorry, totally distracted. Um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, it's been my best week again. Like, it's not even, we haven't even finished the week. Uh, I'm currently sitting on just shy of $7,000. Uh, it's Saturday, we're sitting on about 6,900 or 800, I think. Uh, so, the week has been wild. It's just blowing my mind of what we've been able to achieve. Um, like, been having 20, 20 sale days, if not more. It's really, uh, it's really rewarding. So, the month is, looking to be probably my best month yet as well it's very early into the month we're not even halfway through so that's really great my worker we have decided will be doing all the posting next week as well I'm gonna do the Monday post before I fly out uh, but the, the aim will be that they'll they'll continue to do that we want to keep that momentum happening um, yeah it's, uh, it's it's just crazy to think of what is happening this week but at the same time, like, I shouldn't really be surprised because I've been working so hard to make that happen. And I just didn't expect it to come so quick, even though it's what I wanted to happen. It's, it's a weird situation. Uh, so 
it, it's a bit scary because it makes you think of what's capable so you expect it on a normal basis and then when you don't get it it obviously plays with your headspace as well so charge on if I can keep this momentum up uh, for the next two months getting a warehouse is going to be uh, very very feasible and um, quite possible very soon so yeah it's uh, I'm just just sharing the high at the moment <laughs> hey you got to take the wins when you get them all right let's go pick up this post and also go for a little thread that wasn't too bad I paid six bucks got a little um oh, I paid I paid six bucks and I got a pair of shoes Adidas I don't know I was a bit iffy about them I looked them up and they seem to have come up fine they just look I haven't been selling a lot of shoes they just look too good to be true to be honest anyway for four bucks we'll see what happens there um, and then I also got yeah, a book for two bucks which was pretty good um, old vintage novel from 1953 with the, um, the still the dust cover and everything so take a gamble on that one too um, now I'm gonna go do the post stuff get the goodies I need to pick up and that's it so you probably won't see any more for today but I am going to the shop tomorrow so you'll see me tomorrow Folks, it is Sunday and something a little bit different today. Uh, going to the storage unit, I've got to take all the packaging and all the supplies that I picked up um, yesterday from the uh, the post office. I've got to take it all to the storage unit and I've also got to pack, I think it's like 32 orders. I'm packing that in advance of tomorrow because I am going there tomorrow morning before I fly out to, um, before I fly out to Gold Coast. But I do want to be rushing to get all that done tomorrow. The reason why I'm doing it and not my worker is because I want them to focus on photos tomorrow and well our flight's not till midday so I'm gonna have a bit of time to just print everything off tomorrow morning but I wouldn't have time to pack everything tomorrow morning so that's what I'm doing now. I can come along for a quick little pick pack and post session and um, look I might even take a photo of a thing or two if I get time but the priority is get that stuff packed because yeah, and at the time of me doing this right now, I'm just currently sitting on, must be about 7,600 for the week, uh, which is quite incredible. Uh, so it's been a very, very lucrative week. Uh, very, very grateful uh, for all the sales and all the customers coming through. Um, I did not expect it to be this good this week. Anyway, let's go to the storage unit. Woohoo! So we are shopping. So we're here, we've got lots. We've got all of this, all of this, and then all of this. As you can see, it's a lot. Should last me a bit more than a quarter, maybe five months. And I gotta put it all in here. So let's uh let's do this, you ready? One, two, three, ah, there we go. Not too bad. And I'll chuck him there. Um, those ones, they will probably actually end up going in unit number one. So these are all going to come back with me. They'll go back home. These are just pickup tubs. Um, so plenty of space. It's good. Good thing it doesn't get windy in here because that would fall over. <laughs> nice. All right, team. Let's do some picking. Uh, some good news. We're at 55,000. Just insane. We've got 32 items to go out um, as of 1.30 on Sunday afternoon. So I'm going to pick all this out um, and I will start to pack it. I'm not going to process it till the morning though. And I'll probably get another, I reckon another five to 10 between now and tomorrow morning. So let's get cracking. All right, we've got some really interesting stuff going out. We've got, oh, one second, the light just went out. So we've got a good interesting range of stuff. We've got Pluck a Duck from Hey Hey, etc. That's kind of like 90 bucks for two of them together. Uh, we've got some vintage horror magazines. This is from 85. We've got some good old um, Del Toro's Quest. There's even a Zelda game guide under there. Fire Emblem going out. These are all phones in here and cameras. Fahrenheit 451. I picked this up in a lot recently. It's gone to the US. This has gone to the US. It's gone local. That's gone for about 90 bucks. Um, there's some crazy stuff. And then the rest is just all clothing. All of that is just clothing. This is one big bundle of seven pairs of shorts. 
um, and then there's a couple of bundles of North Face in here and hey I am grateful super grateful so I'm gonna get this all packed up and then I'm probably gonna do some photos as well I've got um I figured I got a little bit of time still so I've got some stuff on charge in here um, oh look at this this is what the next shirt that my photographer will be doing I have sold this exact shirt for $99 before so woo -hoo. All right, everything is done. All the packages are done. Do, 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 do. Um, ended up having a couple more sales while I was doing that, which is all good. So I'm gonna leave it as there. And then tomorrow I'll probably do a whole bunch more as well as any more that come through tonight. I'm now just gonna do a couple of quick win photos. Uh, just see if I can get a few more phones done just to get some extra ASP stuff for next week. And um, then I'm gonna get out of here. So there you go, another week done and dusted. And the first thing I want to say is I'm like, I'm currently blown away with seeing the level of growth that has happened. And this is what I've been trying to push for and really charge into over the last, or really since the start of 2024. And knowing that I think some of the conversations that I was having at the start of the year was that I was, you know, putting lots into the store, but I wasn't selling enough. I wasn't being able to keep up the amount of output with the input. However, this week I have seen that we have gone from averaging seven to 10 sales a day, all the way up to 19 to 20 sales a day, sometimes even more, which is really what I need because we're doing, we're not doing anything different this week or last week or the week before. We're only been doing the consistent of 25 new listings every day higher quality items and now we're starting to see the additional volume come through now of course this could be an outlier week it could be i don't know i don't know what the circumstances are but this month so far has been really really good and this week being the exceptional of them all so a couple of things that i want to kind of just address around my lessons and takeaways for the week is look it's been a busy one i've got two main things that i i guess have been on my mind and number one is the only way up is through and number two is you got to appreciate your ability and when we talk about the only way up is through is what I mean by this is, again, I was just talking about it. The growth has been mind blowing. Like it, it blows my mind of how quickly things can change and it's very rewarding and it's very, very motivating. Also, just like when things aren't going well, it's very, very depressing and it gets to your head. Um, but, you know, I, I want to be frank, this, this hasn't been an overnight success and I'm not saying that I'm successful because there's still so many little things that I need to fix to get this right because the model is not perfect and it hasn't been easy to get here, but at the start of the year, I took a long, hard look at what was required to start to get me to where I want to be. And I knew it meant more of me. It meant that I was going to have to change things. It meant I had to really punch in more effort to get the dollars um, to where I want them to be. But at the same time, I also had to punch in more dollars to help generate more dollars as well. So it's been a big risk-taking process, but it's working. It is working. And the key thing here is that you know, to level up again, the key thing here is in order to get to that level up, I had to be willing to put in what it took, whether it was the work, whether it was the dollars, whether it was changes. And even now I'm still having to do that. I'm still having to adjust and make adjustments as things change. And as I learn new situations that come about from the growth, because you got to know, I don't know a lot of the answers to this stuff because I haven't been at this level before. So it's all part of the level up process. And then you have to continue to come back, come back, come back. Like you go up, you come back a little down and you go back up again and you come down a little bit and you go back up, and down, up again to really try and get to where you want to be. And eventually you get over it. And that is the key of leveling up. And I talk about this in my podcast. You know, you got to be putting in the reps. You got to be gaining the experience. You got to be learning new things. You've got to be testing out new products in terms of business situations. Um, we got to be willing to adjust. We got to be willing to adapt. We got to be willing to reapply ourselves. We got to be willing to build new structure and new ways of working. And the list goes on. These are all just different ways that we can can continue to level up. And this is the only way. You have to put in the reps. So that's really one thing that I'm making sure that I'm being intentful with. Um, because we can say that we're doing the work, but we need to be doing the work to the level that we know is going to get us to the output that we expect. Now, at the same time, the other thing is uh, appreciating your ability. I think sometimes we lack the, the ability that we have. We lack the understanding of the ability that we have and the capability that we are able to achieve. And we need to learn not to sell ourselves short for me, hitting these numbers and the, the results that I've seen this week, sometimes you get the self-imposter 
sometimes you get the imposter syndrome thinking, am I worthy of this? Have I really done this? How did I do this? And it really comes down to a couple of things. You know what you can do. You know what you have done before and you know what you want. Therefore, based on that, you have all the inputs to an equation to get you the results that you want. And with that, we need to ask ourselves, if you know we can do better, then do better. If you know that you have achieved something before, then make that the baseline. How do we get that again? And if you know where you want to be or where you want to be going, make sure you're going that way. Like, are you doing the steps that get you to where you want to be? I've spoken about it here before that I have, you know, a longer term goals of the next three to five to 10 years and what that looks like. And I was reflecting on, um, you know, the goals that I had when I was at Retail First last year and coming back to Retail First this year. And the goal was to hire someone. I've done that. And then by the end of this financial year of FY24, the goal was to get into a warehouse. We're not there yet, but we are so, so close. So I've then built that out all the way up to FY27 as well. Um, and then I've got some broader, bigger goals beyond that. But the point is, if you know where you're going, you're able to direct yourself to making sure that what you're doing is lining up to that. So for me, what I am experiencing now, like these highs have been from, all, you know, from weeks and months of hard work, like really going back all the way to December when I was doing my sabbatical and really doing some planning coming back. I was sick in January and then I've just hit the ground running since February. Like I have not stopped. And that is the nature of the beast. You can't just do nothing and expect things to change and be better. And even though I've got people working for me, I'm still working more than I ever have because I want to build on that momentum. The other thing is I always still struggle with the doubt of, can I do this again? And going back to the point of like, let's not sell ourselves short. Or like, it's like, well, I know I can do it because I just did it. And the question I really need to be asking is like, okay, it's not about, can I do it again? It's like, how can I replicate it again? So how can I continue to do of what worked and how do I make that consistent and how, how do I make that ongoing? That's really the question. If you can master that, there shouldn't be any doubt whatsoever. So that's all we need to do, right? And I didn't have a perfect plan on this. I still don't have a perfect plan. I'm literally following a plan of where I want to be, making the decisions based on which in theory or on paper should enable me towards the direction I want to go. And I adjust it and I, you know, toggle it as I go and it's working. And I think the key elements of this is I'm leveraging people, I'm leveraging space and I'm leveraging knowledge and I'm also leveraging money to make that happen. And I mean, this is how I'm doing it. Right? I'm not saying this is what you should be doing for your business. This is what I'm doing. And at the end of the day, you can have all those components. You can have all the people in the world. You can have all the space in the world. You can have potentially all the knowledge in the world and all the money in the world. But if no one's doing any work, <laughs> nothing's going to change. So that's that's the reality of it. Let's talk dollars. Um, this week, I have done crazy amounts. And actually, at the time of this video right now, as I'm filming it, I'm going to look at my numbers. I've done $7,632 for the week. Uh, which is just blows my mind. And we've done 149 sales, which I think is my highest volume, my highest sales. Um, and it blows my mind. It blows my mind. So it's been a really, really, really good week. And of course, by the time I'm actually editing this video, I will show you what the final number is as well. And that's what this is. Now, in terms of April, April is a little different. Now, one thing that I need to continue to remind people with is because my business is a timing business. And what I mean by that is at the start, the first half of the month, I have all my expenses all my monthly purchases, all my consignment payouts, my laundry, um, all these other things, my, my rent, my storage, all of those things come within the first couple of weeks, which means it's cost heavy for the first couple of weeks, which is okay. I'm okay with it. But it does, it, you know, it, it, it is scary as well because all of a sudden we have these high costs and we're, you know, two weeks in and I'm not really seeing huge profits. And let me show you. So right now, and I'll, I'm just reading this off screen, but you'll you'll see it on screen as well, uh, is essentially for April, we've done 269 sales to date, like for April. So we're 14 days in. We're averaging roughly $955 per day. We're doing 19.2 sales per day. And, you know, my ASP as well is, is up there. It's $49.73. I've done $13,000 in revenue for the month so far, but my costs, my OPEX, is like ten ten and a half thousand dollars so far, and that's because I've I've been paying wages. I've um, had to do my quarterly 
my next quarterly purchase of satchels and padded mailers, which I've had to actually project more. I mean, because I'm projecting more sales over the next quarter, I've had to purchase more. So that was like two grand. Um, so, you know, there's all these costs that come through, which the reality is they're going to be there anyway. But the beauty is now that I've pretty much moved out all my costs for the rest of the, for the month, other than postage ongoingly, for the next two weeks, it really should be just profit settling in other than cost of goods. So if I can get myself up to 25,000, 30,000, I should probably see my best profitable month ever in theory, in theory. So that's, that's where we're heading towards. Um, I mean, obviously I'll keep you updated on a weekly basis of how this tracks. And again, this isn't about really me showing you to help you get the same result. I'm really just helping you understand my approach, how I'm doing it and how I'm looking at it. And also how it scares the hell out of me that, you know, it's, I'm still, you know, I've earned $13,000 in cash flow and I'm sitting at what a net profit of 0.69 at the time of me actually recording this. I've got $92 profit. And look, I know there's a lot of people here that talks about, look, it's all about profits. And I get that it is, we, we need to make, we need to make money at the end of the day. You know, if I was doing a million dollars and I'm doing 15%, in my pocket profit, that's 150 grand. Like I'm happy with that. I'm happy to take home 150 grand if we do a million dollars revenue. Um, but we're not doing a million dollars revenue and I'm not taking home 150 grand. That's the reality of it, right? And I get that, like, that's fine. That's why I'm doing this and you're not doing it. I'm building my business. And, but this is really exciting to see the numbers really starting to come to life in terms of volume, in terms of opportunity and in terms of potential. Um, and my average cycle time also was about 52 days. So I'm below that 90 day cycle, meaning I'm able to turn inventory over pretty quick with the sales that I am selling. So it'll be interesting to see where we end in the next couple of weeks. Um, I don't really want to harp on this anymore, uh, but it's been rewarding. It's been really, really great. I'm encouraged. I'm motivated. I'm also scared and excited at the same time. So I appreciate everyone that comes along for the ride for these weekly videos. And I'll continue to do these each week as I go forward and as I, as, as I grow as well. Uh, so if you've got any questions, comments, let me know down below. I'm more than happy to answer anything, address anything. And uh, yeah, you have a wonderful day. Cheers.